So can you just say the name and uh, the company that you work for? David Carretta, Radio Radicale and Nifoglio. Okay, great. And the first question I have for you is what do you think the challenges facing the upcoming parliament are? Uh, to try to restore the European Union powers uh, after a long time of uh, renationalization of uh, politics in Europe. Okay, great. And what do you think some tips or suggestions that you would have for journalists entering the industry who want to cover politics in the EU? What should they do to make it easier? Change uh, their job or their <laughs> aspiration for the future. <laughs> no. no, it's very, it's very, it's very difficult uh, today to find uh, newspapers and media uh, ready to uh, invest in uh, journalism and, in particular, in European Union journalism. So, why do you think that is? Uh, because uh, there is no uh, consciousness of the importance of Europe. Mm -hmm. in general, in the life of uh, every day, mm -hmm. and uh, because it's uh, far away from uh, the center of power, mm -hmm. and for the moment the center of power is still in the national politics, mm -hmm. so the interest in Europe is very low. And so why did you decide to do it? Uh, because I was more interested in uh, international affairs mm -hmm. than in uh, national ones. Okay. So you, maybe journalists who are interested in like global politics, yeah, global issues, mm -hmm. but uh, it's quite difficult because if you are uh, a freelance or if you work for a small newspaper or a small radio, uh, it's not easy to to, uh, to do your job in a in a, in a good way, mm -hmm. and uh, there are. It's, uh, there are no resources for, uh, for journalism in this moment with this economic crisis. Uh, there are a lot of newspapers that are closing, and so it's not an easy job it's right now. It's not an easy job to have. No. Hmm. Okay, great.